Okay, this video is kind of specific for some people that are doing a bit of development when it comes to remote control, CAN bus interface, and serial interface for hooking up like Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and things like that to wheelchair controllers. What we're trying to figure out, the main question is, can you replace an MK6i color joystick with the MK5 shark style joystick? Which is the MK5 SPJ Plus. And what we're trying to use it with is an MK6 controller that originally had MK6 MPJC. Um, this is just going to be a lot of me swapping things around and doing stuff and talking a whole lot. And it may not make a lot of sense, but it has a specific purpose for a few different people. So, yeah, there you go. So we're going to start with a few different Invicare joysticks here and Invicare control modules. The first one we've got hooked up right now is, let me unplug this. This is a DKPMA02 or MK5NX controller. So this is MK5 and I've got the thing powered on 24 volts here with a couple of batteries. And we're going to start off first with this joystick, which is the one this controller was designed to work with. This one is labeled as an MK5 SPJ Plus. I think you should be able to see that there. Um, I've already gutted it because I was working on interfacing the uh, joystick controls uh, to hook up an Arduino. But um, as you can see, this one is soldered directly to the board. So intercepting those signals on this, what is this, a two layer? This is a three layer circuit board. So intercepting the outputs for this is not really going to be possible. But we're going to plug this in to the MK5 control module here just to show you that it does in fact work. Now, even though this isn't in the case, we can still power it up if we're careful. So I'm going to use this screwdriver here to turn it on. There we go. The thing is on now. We've got a couple of motors over here. So uh, you'll, you'll hear the brakes click off and it'll move. The motors will turn. So those work just fine. You can turn this controller on and off. And uh, yeah, everything's good there. So let's move on to the next joystick. This is an MK6 variant. This is the one with the grayscale screen. Uh, this model has the mode button here. Not all of them have that in the grayscale version. And it has a little speed pot here for adjusting your speed, off, on, and mode switch. This is an MK6 MPJ. This one uses the flat connector, so I've got a little adapter harness set up here. So this can be plugged into the controller using one of these guys. So we're going to plug the adapter into the pigtail here. And taking the screws out of this. This one here is actually ideal for interfacing the joystick gimbal because as you can see it's got physical wires connecting it to the main control board. So what I'm working on right now, just kind of some background information, I'm programming up an Arduino to basically inject voltage into these wires here. We've got uh, up, down, left, we've got, well, it's up, down, left, right. I'm not sure if it's in that order. I haven't pinned it out yet. And then we've got plus five volts and ground. And the way these work is on a voltage swing. When you're sitting here in the central location, the axes are gonna see roughly 2.5 volts. Full deflection is 3.5 and full deflection the other way is 1.5, roughly. You've got to uh, measure everything out and you know, set up your Arduino code um, you know, for each individual application. But the screws are taken out of this and that's why. So we're gonna plug this now into the MK5 controller. And we'll power this up. 
says something about MK6i bootloader and then it says missing the following. Now that's going to be an attendant control and I'm not sure what this other symbol is and it says press reset. Now usually on these chairs when you have errors you can press this button and that would be your reset. But on this one it doesn't do anything. Neither does switching the mode button. If I press and hold it, I haven't tried that yet, let's see if the menu comes up. And it doesn't look like we're getting a menu on there. But again, uh, this one does turn on, but it won't control the chair. And it, it's telling you to press reset, but uh, nothing seems to be responding. So, as you can hear, the motors are not doing anything. Next, we're going to move on to the MK6 color joystick. Which is this one here. This one's seen some action. It's a little bit broken, but it still works. This is this is an MK6 MPJC. Uh, I think I think you can see that right there, maybe. And this is basically the same thing as this joystick, but it's a color variant. So we'll go ahead and plug our adapter cable into this one now. Power it up. Now this air screen is sort of a typical thing if you're missing, you know, it says missing tilt legs and I don't know what that symbol is, but if you hit the button, this one will clear out that air, it gives you another warning, press it again. Now my soccer chair is actually the same way, it, um, it does that for whatever reason. So it says ready to drive, we've got question marks for the batteries which is kind of interesting and we have a clock, but when we push on the joystick, nothing happens. And if we look down here on the bottom where it says ready to drive, it says it's driving, but it's actually not. So, I would go ahead to venture a guess and say that the MK6 joysticks are not compatible with the MK5 controller. Now what we're going to do is swap out to an MK6 controller and see if the MK5 sort of standard joystick will work with that or not. Because they do have an MK6 version of this that looks identical, and I'm not 100% sure if uh, it's the same or not. So this is a DK PMC28 or MK690. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in here. Get our pigtail transferred over, and then our motors. And just in case you didn't see on this one, um, that's the details on this thing, the MK5NX. Okay, so that thing's all powered up now. And let's start off with the intended joystick, which is this MK6i color one. Now this thing should power up and function. We're gonna get the same errors because they're still missing stuff. Ah, control inhibited. So there's something in the software because it's not connected that's not going to allow it to drive. So this particular joystick was set up with some alternative controls. So I might ignore that. Uh, it's kind of skewing our test results. So let's plug in this grayscale one and uh, see what we get there. So this, the, the one that I just plugged in that was giving a control inhibited error, just to clarify, that's a programming issue. That has nothing to do with compatibility of the actual system. So in theory, this one should work. Wait, what did that say? Okay, boot note, bootloader initializing. Okay, missing, press reset. Huh, okay, so... This test may not be very conclusive then. Um, I've got one more joystick out in the garage on a chair. Let me go grab that real quick. Well, actually first, let's plug in the MK5 because I think that's what we would need to know here is if the, the MK5, uh, this joystick, some people call this the shark. See if this is compatible. I think that was kind of the main question. And then I'll go grab that other controller and see if it will work. So let's plug this into our controller here. There we go. And we'll power this up. Uh, 
and it's not liking something. Let me make sure our motors are plugged in all the way. Yeah, those are in there. Yeah, we're getting the scanning on this and uh, it doesn't want to move. The problem is this style of joystick that has the screen on it houses the programming, whereas these ones use the program that's in here. Now, typically, you can switch between an MK6 Shark and an MK6, or you know, the MPJ, like the one with the screen, or the grayscale one, and they'll work fine. So, I don't know here. Let me go grab some more stuff from the garage real quick and see if we can clarify this. Okay, I went out into the garage and I grabbed a joystick and a controller that were matched. These are known to work with each other. This, well, let's go ahead and compare here. I'm gonna unhook this. Oops. So this one was the DK PMC 28. This one is the DK PMC 08, MK690. MK690 with accessories. Interesting. So let's go ahead and plug this one in because we're starting with a known good thing here. And unlike Arnet, I'm finding that a lot of the Quantum and Invacare stuff isn't just plug and play compatible. It comes down to the accessories they were connected with and a bunch of other variables that make just purchasing generic parts pretty difficult when it comes to trying to build your own stuff. And I'll show you what I mean with the, uh, the errors that we were getting on this one. This joystick, because it used to have seating accessories connected to it always gives a couple of errors when you power it up but it's not too big of a problem all you do is hit the button a couple times oh and this is an mk6 mpjc so same thing as this so we'll power this one up we'll get a warning screen saying that something's missing you hit okay it gives you another warning hit okay now it says ready to drive and our chair moves around Let's see. Yeah, I've got the soccer profile on here. You can see it up there. And you, you can hear the motors and everything working fine. So let's plug in the uh, MK5 into this and see if it works. Because once again, that was kind of our original question. Hey, it works. Okay, cool. So, it would appear as though the MK6 um, controller, the one that doesn't have the accessories, will work with an MK5 Shark joystick, which is this one here. Let's plug in this one now and uh, see what we get there. And we'll plug this in. Powered up, this is the grayscale uh, MK6 MPJ. Okay, this one won't work. So it looks like the grayscale ones, when it, when it wants a, a reset button press, uh, that doesn't work. And the last one to try, MK6 MPJC, C for color. Okay, reset works, warning, it says ready to drive, and it drives. Okay, um, conclusions. If you've got just a regular Invacare MK6 controller that was set up on a chair for just drive, no accessories or power seating or anything, it looks like it will work just fine with the Shark MK5 joystick. Now, if you have any seating accessories or other things that it's expecting to see that are not there, you can bypass it with the color MK6 one, but the grayscale one will not allow you to do a reset input to bypass those errors, which is interesting. 
Okay, now, for one final last thing here, we're gonna go back to the MK5 NX and see if the color joystick will work on that one. So we've just tried all of the possible options here. This guy. Final test, this is the MK6 color on an MK5 controller. Ready to drive. We have question marks for the battery and it won't drive. And we also cannot change modes. All it does is turn on and yeah, no function. To sum all this up, the MK5 controllers will work with the MK5 shark style joystick. The MK6 controllers will also work with the MK5 shark style joystick. But if it was set up with seating accessories or other functions like power legs, custom inputs, head arrays, things like that, it will not work. Interesting point of note, however, these two MK6 modules, you can see they're both MK690s. The part numbers are slightly different, but one says with accessories and the other one does not. Now, this one that said with accessories wouldn't work with the MK5 shark style joystick. Now, the reason for that, I believe, or at least what I'm surmising at this point, the color joysticks have extra buttons and functions available. Whereas the shark style ones only have power, slower, faster, and horn. So if this is connected to a control system that is expecting to be able to receive other inputs for switching drive modes or hitting reset or accessing menus and things like that, these don't have the capability of doing that. So that would lead me to believe that if you're using one of these controllers that says accessories, it's not gonna work because it's trying to make you, it's basically looking for inputs that aren't possible with this style of joystick. So I think that was the main question, was can you replace one of the MK6 color or grayscale with the MK5 Shark? And the answer is yes, in most cases. <laughs> um, this is kind of all over the place and I discovered some things that were a little bit confusing. I'm not gonna do too much editing on this because I want you to realize it's pretty confusing. And just because you have the parts doesn't mean it'll work. It all comes down to the programming that's on all this garbage. But anyways, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, yeah, 